Some people, Katie Coleman says, would ask her, why don't you just wear short hair? Her long hair, she says, was kind of a statement that space is for women too. But she never let it get in the way. When we were going to be working with equipment very closely or maybe working very closely together, I would just take my hair and put it in a ponytail and it would be out of everybody's way. Retired astronaut Katie Coleman spent nearly a quarter century with NASA. And lift off, lift off of the Space Shuttle Columbia. Twice during the 1990s, she flew space shuttle missions. And in 2010 and 2011, Katie is uh, second uh, coming through the hatch. She spent six months living on the International Space Station. Of the nearly 250 people to visit the ISS so far, less than 40 are women. But living and working with all men was not for Coleman a big deal. Looking around at my crewmates who were all guys, I, you know, they didn't look like me. We thought differently. We had different kinds of ideas. And I thought that was just exactly perfect for a space mission because we bring a crew who each brings their own gifts to the mission. And sometimes you just bring too much. China's next female Taikonaut will have plenty of just basics, Coleman says, to pass on to those who follow. It's just really important if you realize that, you know, I brought a lot of these kinds of clothes and I only wore a few of them. Or there was a very efficient way to organize my day or organize my things so that I never lost them. All of us like to share advice with the people that come after us. The Taikonauts, men and women, just like the ISS crews, all value some degree of privacy and alone time. And on the space station, there's room enough to find a quiet place when you need it. If there was an emotional challenge for Katie, it was leaving. I loved being in space. I loved accomplishing the mission. And I would have spent another six months in a minute, even though I missed my family at home. For China's next woman in space, Katie says, store it in your memory what it feels like to live up there. And she adds, Realize that when you look out the window and you see the stars, you see the earth, billions of women are looking out that window with you, including me. Coleman is fond of saying the experience of flying in space is magical, an emotion she knows China's next woman will feel too. For CGTN, I'm John Zarella.